I suppose it was actually unfair to call this video Dumb Guitar Questions, because I guess if you don't know the answers, you don't know the answers. But anyone who has ever, ever been in a Facebook group or something similar will be only too familiar with these kinds of questions. So yeah, today we're going to be taking a look at some weird guitar questions floating around. But first, shameless e-bag. Hi, it's Andy from the future. Before I jump right into the video today, I've got a huge favour to ask. If you enjoy the video, you found it informative, helpful, entertaining, anything like that, could you be so kind as to drop a like on the video? Leave a comment and say hi. YouTube is really, really competitive right now and all the little free things such as likes, comments, anything like that, it really, really, really helps the channel out. Thank you so much. Back to the video. Okay, sorry, I have to do it. So yeah, guitar questions, dumb, weird, whatever. Look, I know if you're just starting out, you're just learning guitar, there's a lot you don't know. But the resources that are available now, like Google, YouTube, even Reddit, there's pretty much information everywhere, all the information you're ever going to need at your fingertips when you're starting out to play guitar. And I know sometimes it's better to hear it from the horse's mouth, but you know. Seriously though, there's not many questions you cannot find the answer to anywhere on the internet. So it always amazes me in guitar groups online where some dude will put up a post saying something like, how high should my guitar strap be? <laughs> Am I left or right handed? Is a Telecaster better than a Stratocaster? Do crayons taste good? I mean, it's got to be for attention, right? It's got to be. Dude has the internet. He's got it right there, it's at his fingertips, he used it to, to post the, the question. <laughs> I mean, I get it like when people ask questions like, has anyone tried the new Boss IR2 pedal? I've heard it can be noisy. Or, you know, does anyone know where I can find a good tab for this song or that song? You know, there's, 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 there's smart questions. But do you know the ones that really, really, really bug me? You'll be, you, you, you'll be scrolling through like an Ibanez group or a Gibson group, yeah, whatever. And some dillweed will post a picture of the guitar that he's seen in a shop and he'll say, should I buy this? It's $400. I mean, come on, stop asking. Th th these are dumb questions. Are you really going to take the advice of someone off Facebook when it comes to making a guitar purchase? Gary from Basingstoke might absolutely hate that guitar. He might loathe it. He played it once and he didn't like it. But James in Luton has one and he loves it. He'd swap his kids for another one of these guitars. What are you going to do now, bro? Huh? It's subjective. Why ask internet strangers? So this is a message to anybody who puts a, a post up on Facebook saying, should I buy this guitar? It's $300. Or I found this. Is four hundred dollars. <laughs> just play it. Just sit down and play the guitar. If you like it and you're happy to pay whatever amount of money for it, then buy it. It's not rocket science. You're just seeking validation from men who have a profile picture that looks like this. So anyway, <laughs> I do a stream every Wednesday and Saturday set a notification on the YouTube and you won't miss it. And sometimes I need to do some guitar research for said stream. I'd always end up on some kind of search engine, in oh, Google usually, and I see some questions that absolutely blow my mind. So I thought we'd take a look at some of these today. So yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's what we're doing. So the first one, these are real questions actually on Google. What is the best quality of guitar? Hey, the answer, the, the answer is even better. Yamaha is a well-respected and trusted brand in the world of musical instruments and their guitars are no exception. Yamaha models are known for their quality construction, excellent playability and wide range of models to suit every level of musician. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to disagree. I mean, I mean Yamaha make okay guitars, but I'm, I'm going to have to disagree with you here, Google. Jesus, Yamaha. Look, I've got no beef with Yamaha. I, I think Yamahas are cool. But the best quality guitar ever in the world? <laughs> Actually, maybe we shouldn't be trusting Google. 
And all the blues dentists and lawyers are going to end up playing Yamahas if they see this. Right. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, this, this, uh, I'll just do it. How can you tell if a guitar is good quality? What? What? These are real questions. Number one, does the guitar stay in tune? Have somebody at the store get the guitar to standard tuning and play the few chords. Sort it out. Is the guitar neck straight? How far are the strings from the fretboard? Can you comfortably reach the entire fretboard? Are the guitar electronics in good condition? <laughs> I'm not making it up. These, these are real questions for, 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 for beginners. I mean, what's the longest you've ever stayed in a guitar store? Was it long enough to see if all the guitars went out of tune? <laughs> what's the criteria here? I mean, how far are the strings from the fretboard? Yeah, that's 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 cool if you know guitars, but if you're a beginner, you, you've got no frame of reference. They, they could be an inch from the, the fretboard and you wouldn't know if that was bad. And are the electrics in good condition? <laughs> so, you imagine Greg goes into the guitar store and he's, he's, he says to Gary behind the counter hey, excuse me I'd like to take a look at that square bullet behind the behind the counter there my good man and Gary gets it down and he passes it to Greg like Excalibur and Greg looks at Gary with disdain and he goes dismantle it I wish to peruse the electronics <laughs> with no frame of reference Jesus <sighs> So no wonder, actually, I can understand why people ask questions in Facebook groups now, because Google's mental. Do guitars sound better when they're beat up or worn out looking? Do worn guitars sound better? <sighs> Guitar pickups can sound different with age, and for some people this makes them sound better. Part of this is a different manufacturing process made back then, and part of the effect is the age on the pickups themselves i mean come on right i mean yeah I, I i get that how thick do you have to be to wonder if a guitar will sound better if the paint is chipped i mean except the question do older guitars sound better than new guitars i mean that's reasonable but again it's subjective i mean if worn guitars sounded better we would all have messed up guitars and big sandpaper would be outperforming google and tesla I can't believe I'm going to read this one out. What can damage a guitar? What, what, what can damage a What can damage a, I don't know, fella. A tank? A, an angry bird of prey? The army? A herd of bison? Do... Right. I'm just going to look at it. I'm not going to go through it. I'm just going to read these out. Do bigger guitars sound better? <laughs> what is a fair price for a guitar? How expensive should a guitar be? Are small guitars worth it? Who sold a hundred guitars? <laughs> Who sold a hundred guitars? That was me. I've sold a hundred guitars. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, do, do some research, but probably not on Google. That's 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 all I'm going to say here. Anyway, that's all for today. Uh, that was uh, interesting. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that YouTube stuff. You can also become a member now. Or join my Patreon and you get some extra videos and stuff. Um, don't forget, I also stream every Wednesday and Saturday at 9pm UK time. It's just me and some buddies and we, we have guests on and we sit and talk around, you know, guitars and gear and stuff. So feel free to pop along, jump in the chat and you can meet some cool people. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace out.